Welcome back, and I've got a really interesting experiment for you today. It's quite a strange one. What we're going to look at is why, when you heat boiling water, it doesn't get any hotter. So this is a very strange bit of physics and something I think you know about, but you've probably not thought about it in detail. Well, you've all cooked pasta or rice in a saucepan with a loose lid or open, and you notice the water boiling away. But have you thought about the fact that the water can be boiling for 10 or more minutes? And yet, even though you're feeding in lots and lots of thermal energy, lots of heat from the electrical heater or the gas flame, the water's not getting any hotter. Now, this is really rather strange and it's an interesting bit of physics and it's gonna take a little bit of explaining. So, I haven't got a cooker and a saucepan and some pasta in my laboratory. So to simulate it, what I'm gonna do is just use a kettle um, with the lid open. And I've got a thermometer uh, inside the kettle. Now, at the moment, the water's at 70 degrees C and it's um, warming up and uh, that's a different bit of physics and I think that's pretty obvious. If you put thermal energy into uh, water that's quite cool, it will warm up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until the kettle is properly boiling uh, and you can tell it's when it's boiling because you'll see the bubbles and the steam, etc., coming out of it. And we're gonna look at what we get on the thermometer. And I think the results uh, will surprise you. So we'll just give it a few moments now for the water to heat up and once it's boiling we'll leave it boiling and we'll keep looking at the thermometer and see what happens to the temperature of the water as we add more and more and more heat to it, more and more thermal energy. So as you may be able to hear the kettle's boiling away nicely now and um, I'll try and get a photograph of it in a minute, but the thermometer is reading 100 degrees centigrade or as close to that within uh, the accuracy of the thermometer. And the water's boiling away nicely and the, the heat is uh, going into the water. We're putting electrical energy into the kettle and getting uh, thermal energy out of the heater. And it's just not getting hotter and it's not getting hotter. Um, and I can leave this for ages until all the water boils off. But the key to this is you need to notice there's loads of steam coming off the kettle. And it's that that we're gonna to use to explain why the temperature on my thermometer just doesn't go above 100, never mind how much energy I put into the boiling water. So let's see if we can explain what's happening. So if you remember, you're cooking your pasta, the water's boiling away, you're feeding in lots of thermal energy, lots of heat, and yet the water is not getting any hotter. It's staying at 100 degrees C. And the bit of physics you need to know about to understand this is the concept of latent heat capacity. So I hope you got the idea now that if you've got a liquid that's boiling and you want to turn it into a gas, in this case you want to turn it into steam, you need to feed in energy. And that energy is hidden, it's latent. It doesn't go into an increase in temperature, it goes into an increase, not in the random kinetic energy of particles, but into the potential energy. It takes the water molecules and spreads them out by about 2,000 times, adds potential energy, so that is where the heat from the cooker has gone. It's gone into spreading out the particles and changing the state from a liquid state to a gas. So next time you're cooking pasta or rice, have a think about the latent heat capacity of the water in the saucepan. So it's boiling at 100 degrees centigrade and you're having to add energy to that, not to change the temperature, but to change the state from a liquid to a gas. And for water, it's a very large value. The specific latent heat capacity of water is about 2 million joules per kilogram.
which is why when you boil a saucepan full of water, you do get some steam off, but because it takes two million joules to turn a kilogram of wa liquid water into steam, you don't lose very much water from the pan. You would lose all the water if you left it on for a very long time. So I hope you enjoyed that video and learnt a little bit about the latent heat capacity of uh, liquids. I'll be making another video soon and I look forward to seeing you then.